Hello everyone, this is Linda with Icky Chic Designs. Uh, I wanted to show you my little cat that I did. I was uh, visiting Janet Nash, her channel the other day, and, and uh, watching some of her things. And I just, I love listening to her and visiting with her. And, and she has a very whimsical uh, talent, and, and I just love it. And so I saw this little cap that she did. And I wanted to do one like it, and I just love it. I'm going to link her so that you can go over and watch her video, and she'll tell you step by step how to make this little cat. And it's very simple, and it's very scrappy, and basically there's just two pieces, the head and the body, and you do what you want to with it, but it's just so cute, and I love it. And so I put it on one of my um, sheer... Uh, pieces that I had uh, sewn previously and he just looks so cute there that's a perfect home for him and uh, so I'm not sure exactly now what I'm going to do with him or what he's going to come in, turn into but he's just too adorable to um, not do something with but uh, I just love uh, the uh, whimsicalness of it and the playfulness of it it's just it's just fun and it wasn't hard to create at all so uh, if you like the little cat, please go over and check it out. Uh, this is not my original design. This is Janet Nash's uh, design, and I'm just um, copying it uh, because I like it so much. So anyway, uh, go over to her channel and check that out. Now, the other thing I wanted to uh, show you in this video is uh, making clusters. We all love clusters, and clusters really look wonderful in our slow stitch uh, projects. And it's just um, sometimes we just don't know uh, how to begin. I just love them. Let me bring you down so you can get a closer look at them. Uh, isn't that isn't that pretty? and incorporated in so many things you could put this cluster on. This one's more simple, but isn't it nice? This one's smaller, and I love it. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Well, I love them all. I won't quit saying I love them because I love them all. Clusters are nothing but collaging bits and pieces just collaging bits and pieces so i thought i'd just uh, take you through my process of how i would put a cluster together now i got a little pile of stuff here and i thought i would start start with this i have some more stuff here on my desk if i need it but uh, this piece uh it's woven double-sided let's say upholstery fabric and it's about a, it's a good size to to play with so i thought i would start with that oh uh, let's see what else i might have up here that i can throw on here i'm going to snip a piece of this fabric uh, just have stuff laying around it's it's good to around you I'm not saying just laying around but around you so that you can get some kind of inspiration from it uh, let's see it's a lot of auditioning when I do uh, my clusters uh, you know I'm turning it every which way but loose you might say until you get what you want. I thought this was kind of neat. I think I want to cut it. Let's see. Let's 
Let's do that with it, and then uh, oh, I don't know, but that's a that's a cool color, another color that I could play with there. And uh, this is kind of neat, stringy little thing here. But if I wrapped it back and let it play on top, let's see if I can control it a little bit here. Love it. Love it. So far, love it. Let's see. I need a little something. Just a little something to finish it off. All right. I'm loving that cluster. Do you like it? Let's sew it up and see what it looks like. <clears throat> Just get a little bit of thread here. Clusters are just nothing but layering, 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 layering until you get something that looks pretty together. And if you don't like it, dump it and start again. Now what I normally do when I'm doing a cluster is I just come in and make a few strategic stitches just to keep things down so that um, if I have to leave it, get up and do something, then the whole thing doesn't fall apart on me. I try to find, uh, in most cases, threads that blend, but sometimes I'll do contrasting threads for, uh, you know, a decorative effect, but uh, getting it down, securing it, I try to do threads that blend and just uh, hide themselves. All I'm doing is just going around and securing some of these items down. And then I'll come back and do uh, some more stitching. And if I want to add stitches that actually show and things like that. If I want to put uh, bead sequins, uh, whatever else on top, I can do that uh, next round. But just getting it down really well, secured well. Is important. I'm making quite a few of these. Uh, and I'll be making more as I go along. And I do have a a project in mind to use them. I, I'm not sure that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try it out in uh, the uh, um, oh, what is it? The art project that I'm doing now. Um, ooh, cut, cut and stick with Linda, where we're going to do the uh, fiber art project. Oh goodness, I got it all tangled here. Get it undone. Um, when I finish that piece, I will need to put, I always put my own border around what I'm doing uh, so that it finishes up with something in the fiber category too. I know that doesn't make sense to you, but it will when I finish the project. But I'm thinking that I I would like to border this piece that we're going to be doing in this series of uh, cut and st uh, stick with Linda. 
I think when I finish the piece, I'm going to border it with these clusters. And um, I think that's going to be unusual and very pretty and very artsy looking and a great way to finish out my piece. So uh, that's why I'm making so many of them. And uh, all shapes and sizes and uh, color, color tones and everything. So I'll be making a ton of these for a while, off and on. But as you can see, they're not hard and they, they don't take a lot of time. Okay, we'll tie this off of the back. Okay. All right. And there's our little cluster. And now we can, you know, add anything we want to it if uh, any more embellishment that we want to. But wouldn't he pair up good with this one? And how about this one? And even this one. Aren't they cute? So easy. So make you some clusters, keep them in a box, and, and they'll be there when you want to pull them out and put them in one of your slow stitch projects. Okay? All right, till next time, you know what to do. Stay scrap happy.